Greetings, welcome back to my channel. This is Stasia Bliss, where we talk about Kundalini awakenings and managing our life force energy. I do this with you daily, six days a week, and I try to correlate the vid videos with the planetary influences and pointing out uh, movements in the planets. Uh, but whatever day you are watching this, is synchronistic for you so those energies might just be reaching you on this day that you're watching it so the day I'm recording it there is a new moon in Taurus if you're not watching it on Tuesday uh, with the new moon in Taurus then this energy is reaching you on whatever day you're finding me so take that and play with that um, it's also Mars day so Tuesday is always Mars day it's a day of action. Mars is about passion. It's about creativity. It's about movement. Um, it's body oriented, but it's also creative inspiration. So that life force energy is wanting to express itself in some way. For me, I want to finish this mandala painting that I'm working on. So I've got it out, I've got the colors I'm working with, some Martian red colors in here, but also some really Taurus, like brown grounding, earthing energies. So that's what I'm working with today to stimulate also and beautify, because Taurus is all about your surroundings. I've picked up some flowers while I was out to uh, beautify the space and help me tune into that energy in myself. So uh, maybe that's something that you might think about for this day and this new moon. Um, and since we are in Taurus season, it is about like our environment, our manifestations, our bodies, our physical reality. What is new? What has been planted in the eclipse season? What is starting to show signs that you want to continue to pursue? As far as your Kundalini awakening goes, uh, again, the eclipse energy has started something, especially if you did your sadhana. Remember, it was multiplied by a thousand over the eclipse time. So that energy has started to seed in you and starting to awaken in you. And today you might see a little bit more of that. Uh, this Martian energy is associated really with the Manipur chakra, this activating creative energy that the Taurus stuff is really rooted and grounded so you might find like beautifying your home is an expression of your life force energy in action it's actually a way that we manage our life force energy is by managing our space and helping the energy to flow and changing things out. I like to rearrange my room a lot and um, rearrange space and bring in flowers and change colors up because that is a way to reflect the changing life force energy that's moving through you. And if you feel stuck, it's a really great idea to bring something new in or move something out, you know, change it up a little bit, bring in some live, you know, plant or flowers or paint something, get a different bedspread on there. I'm not saying go spend a lot of money, maybe working with what you've got. How can you rearrange to feel that life force energy moving in you even more? It's a great day to do some spinal exercises. So even just like stretching up through the spine, side to side, and maybe some spinal twists. I was going to do that in this video, but couldn't find a great place where the lighting wasn't really bad and it's raining outside so maybe I'll take you outside soon and do that but smooth your spine in all the directions that you can move it breathe through your spine feel that vital energy grounded in your body again like take from this video what resonates leave the rest but I, I think it's a great practice always when working with your life force energy that you take attention to your spine this is something that i learned very early on and actually had to if you've heard my story at all um, some spinal injuries and nearly breaking my neck and scoliosis when i was young a lot of taking energy and awareness to my spine which served me well because that is the location of that kundalini life force is is housed in your spine, in your cerebral spinal fluid. It is the vital energy behind that movement through the vagus nerve, through your nervous system. It is the animating force 
which animates us. And so to really bring awareness and attention to it. And maybe today bring some of that attention down to your lower centers, allow the upper centers to be inspired. But sometimes we don't really know what the art's going to be. Like this, I just saw this partially painted at a thrift store. Somebody had put some bright colors. There was like hot pink around here and some like highlighter pens on it. And I just, I loved the mandala. So I just decided I was gonna repaint it. And it actually has been very challenging because all the black is on there and I've had to just paint around the black, which I'm gonna to have to go back and touch up probably, but it's a very meditative, uh, but also active uh, practice. And colors can be super therapeutic, right? So doing something that feeds your creativity today is a really great suggestion whenever you're watching this video. So uh, painting is not something I do very often. So I'm not like, I'm a great painter. It's just something that occasionally I pick up and I like to do and have fun with. And so even if you haven't done something that you're kind of feeling or, or feeling into, today's a great day to do that and nourish your life force energy. Plus it takes a lot of the mental stuff out which we can really get hung up on when we're working with an awakening, especially if it's been challenging. We can get really heady about it and try to analyze it and figure it out and do a lot of head work, but instead maybe like bring it down to the creative center and bring it down to allowing that um, vital, passionate life force energy to move through you, through your hands, maybe sing, maybe dance, or color or draw and see how that shifts the energy for you okay I find that it does every time for me it shifts the energy hugely it, it grants me access to parts of me that I wasn't accessing before because now I'm in a different state of mind so even though you're active when you're painting it's again non-cognitive there isn't a, a portal or a place open for spirit, for consciousness to communicate with you and to bring you messages. So that is my message today. I hope you enjoy some creative time with yourself and a blessed, blessed new moon to you. Beautiful day to make some goals and intentions, not like hard goals because we always want to be able to be led by the universe, but it's, it's good to to write some things down. There goes the clock. <laughs> All right, much love to you. Again, if you are interested in a private session, if you wanna do your own cards for a new moon cycle, go ahead and find my email below or my website. And if you like this video, please like it, please share it, subscribe, and I'll see you back again tomorrow. Tomorrow's Wednesday, if you're following me daily, that's the day of Mercury and the mind. So maybe we'll talk a little bit more about some mental concepts, but for today, move, act, create, and most of all, bring love here. Okay, blessings. Namaste, and I love you.